take just 150 seconds to finally understand the Q cycle. The Q cycle is a two-step process that takes place at complex three of the electron transport chain. Starting at step one, we have a molecule of QH2, and QH2 is the reduced version of coenzyme Q, and we call that ubiquinol. So those three things all refer to the same thing. This ubiquinol molecule was created at either complex one or complex two, it arrives at complex three, and it's going to donate two electrons. And waiting at complex three to accept those electrons is an oxidized molecule of cytochrome C. So one of those electrons goes right to cytochrome C and creates a reduced form of cytochrome C. And the reduced cytochrome C will then move through the inner membrane and go to complex four. The other thing that's waiting at complex three to take the other electron is an oxidized form of coenzyme Q. When you see that written as Q instead of QH2, it's still coenzyme Q, but it's the oxidized form, and we call that ubiquinone. The ubiquinone accepts that other electron and becomes partially reduced, and it's going to just stay at complex three and wait for step two. The ubiquinol that arrived and donated those electrons then moves away, and now it's the oxidized form. So the ubiquinol turned into ubiquinone. Now it will go back to either complex one or two to get reduced again. During this first step, there are two protons that are pumped from the matrix into the inner membrane space. That's all there is for step one. Let's look at what happens in step two. Here are the things that were made in step one, the reduced cytochrome C, the ubiquinol that got oxidized to become ubiquinone, and then the halfway reduced coenzyme Q. Now we have a new ubiquinol arrives, and this one was also created at complex one or two. It moves to complex three and donates two electrons, just like what happened in step one. One of those electrons reduces a second cytochrome C to create the second reduced cytochrome C. And that one will also move to complex four to transfer those electrons. The other electron from that ubiquinol is going to move to that halfway reduced coenzyme Q that was halfway reduced in step one. The addition of the second electron is going to fully reduce it and create a ubiquinol. So that ubiquinone from step one has now turned into a ubiquinol. This new ubiquinol will exist in the inner membrane and just be part of the total pool of ubiquinol molecules that exist there. And during step two, we have two more hydrogens that are pumped from the matrix to the inner membrane space. 